You know, I, I, use, I tell our guys to use two basic hand positions for your throwing hand when you're in your primary stance. Um, it's basically on your hip or behind and want to get it out of the way and, and make sure that you're relaxed to, um, to, to receive the baseball. Um, basically, the quarter turn, relax your hand. You know, one thing that I always said to our guys is I was doing a rehab stint in Atlanta, and I got to work with um, – uh, Eddie Perez. You guys know Eddie Perez. Played in the big leagues forever. And the one thing he told me, and it stuck with me forever, is he said, make sure when you're catching, you let the ball close the glove. And that was the dumbest thing. I was a young kid playing in pro ball, and I was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I was like, I don't, okay, I walked out of there, and I was like, I don't even know what that means. But basically what it means is, you know, you have catchers. You hear coaches say all the time, stick it, and stuff like that. But basically what he meant was is if you stay relaxed, and you put the ball in front of the glove, the momentum of the ball will close the glove, and you just hold it closed. And I was like, that's stupid. You know, that's, that's what we all do on a daily basis until you try it. And, and what, what had started happening was my hands got softer. I didn't drop many baseballs anyways, but I stopped dropping baseballs. I started presenting the ball to the umpire in a proper way, in a better way, and I was also catching it in what we call the sweet spot. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to you until you do it. And it's basically a completely relaxed position situation and just catching the ball and holding it closed. And it keeps you from reaching and doing all that stuff. And, and again, that's one of the things that I kind of took away with that, not at the time, because when I was playing, I knew everything, right? But when I started coaching and I'm trying to relate to these young players, it's just an easy way to soften up the hands. And I'm going to show you some drills and stuff that we do, but I'm just trying to get through some of the stuff. Um, Secondary stance is the same thing. What I, the, the difference is when I, when I was playing at Georgia Tech, a lot of, the guy, a lot of the, our catching instructor was basically, this is how you're going to do it. This is how you're going to do it. Your secondary stance, you're going to get your feet, your legs are going to be parallel to the ground, your butt's going to be up, and your back's going to be straight. Well, that was the most uncomfortable position that I've ever been in. And it caused me to go down to one knee every single time I'd catch the ball. So what I started doing and what I talked to our guys about is basically when you're in a secondary stance, it's basically an addition to your primary stance. You guys know what primary stance is, right? It's the most relaxed, comfortable stance you can be. And all I would do is engage my hamstrings and quads. So basically, I would be as, as relaxed and as comfortable as I could, and then I would just raise up just a little bit. And it kept me in a balanced situ a stance to not want to go get the ball. I don't, I don't know about you guys, that drives me crazy when a catcher goes to one knee every pitch, or specifically or especially when there's a guy on second or third. Right, and so we worked a long time on, on anticipating things like that and trying to get guys to do it. And, and that was a one way that it helped me. Um, it helped me, and, and so basically just try to do as whatever you can. So a lot of our drills, so we'll get into the drill portion. Receiving drills, we'll do a lot of stuff with no glove. I don't know if you guys do this, but so basically, We'll get them down in their stances and we'll take the glove off and I'll use baseballs or tennis balls. And I'll start out with one ball and I'll move the ball around. I'll just flip it underhand while they're in their stance and I'll move the ball around and I want them to catch it bare hand. But I want them to catch it and hold it. The very first drill, I just want them to catch and hold it. And I want to make sure they're catching it the right way around the plate, the way they're supposed to. Um, the second one, I'll have a handful of balls and, I, and, and I'll go a lot faster and I want them to catch them and drop it. And just basically it keeps their hands relaxed, hand-eye coordination without moving their body. And what happens is every time a freshman comes in that's never done this drill, when I do the, the, the quick ball drill, they get real stiff and their whole body moves and they start dropping baseballs. And so basically back there, you, want, you don't want people to panic. You want them to stay relaxed and just move their hands to catch the ball. So the more you do it, the easier it gets. And I'm going to show you basically what they look like. So that's it. So no glove, receiving drill, no glove, primary stance, catch and hold, rapid fire, five ball drill, same thing, secondary stance. So I believe that these are a couple of our former catchers. Um, one's in professional baseball right now. One has a pretty good job. Uh-oh. So basically, this is the one where they just catch and hold. Can everybody see? I'm just kind of moving the ball around. I just want them to catch and hold it nice and relaxed. Try to catch everything in the center.